Oh my god. 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 Oh I just need to like I just need to run. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got in. What? What in the world? Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you can do <laughs> Oh, there's my oh. So, I got into UCLA. <laughs> Look at my pin. I, I still can't believe it. I can't process it. But, <laughs> I got in. Which means so much more to me than you guys know. You can't really see my face. So I'm going to take this off. But, <laughs> getting into UCLA means so much more than getting into a great school. It is a fantastic school. It's extremely hard to get into, but it means so much more to me than now I can go to a great school. Sorry if this is like a little bit jumbled around. I'm still like very much in shock and I don't have any like talking points or anything. I'm just gonna ramble. I just wanna talk to you guys about this whole situation. I waited to tell you guys because I wanted to make sure that I was actually going before I told anybody. It would suck if I was like, I got into UCLA, but I'm not going, but I am going now. Now I know that I'm actually going. I was on the waitlist, so it's very, very hard to get in off the waitlist. So at that point, I was kind of just accepting that, oh, I didn't get in. That's okay. You can go to another school. And when I found out that I got in, I was really confused because my grades and my SAT scores and my ACT scores were not high. They didn't show that I was some genius, but I got in because of my essays and because of my extracurriculars and how passionate I was about everything. I guess it just showed me that all the work that I put in and how almost maniacally I worked for my whole life on something that wasn't school wasn't crazy, that it was worth it, and that I wasn't wasting my time. I got into UCLA because of my essays that I wrote, not because of my grades, because of my essays, and two out of the four of my essays were about the things that I learned through my journey of making videos and talking to you guys. I learned so much about making videos, but the thing that I learned the most about was people. I learned so much about how you treat people and how people treat you and how the world reacts to things and what to do in certain situations and I learned so, so, so much about people because of YouTube. And that's what I wrote about in my essays. It's crazy that this thing that I did, making videos, has come full circle and now I got into the college that I've been wanting to go to since I was in elementary school because of you guys. So there's nothing I can really say other than thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, there's I there's no way I could thank you enough with words. Just thank you. It really means a lot. When I was younger I didn't really think that I would um I'm gonna get emotional, dang it. When I was younger I didn't really think that I was going to have a very bright future because I was in a bad situation and making videos for me was really a way for me to escape. I worked so hard on these for so long since I was in elementary school because I always had this dream that if I did well on this that I could move away and I could be successful and pave my own future that was unlike the one that I was destined to have due to my circumstances. And that whole time I was working so hard and staying up till three in the morning during middle school and high school. That whole time I really felt crazy. I felt so stupid for wasting so much of my time and so much of my youth 
on making videos, but I kept doing it because I still had that dream. I still had that dream, but I felt so crazy for having that dream. But getting into UCLA is proof that I wasn't crazy and it's proof that all that hard work paid off in the end and that it's not stupid to dream so big. It's not stupid. It's never stupid to dream big. Despite what every single adult told me and even my peers telling me, you can't do that. You're not going to be able to do that. I don't know. It still happened. It still worked out. Getting into this school means so much more than just getting into this school. Where I'm from and all the things that happened to me, so many things that I haven't told you and so many things that I haven't told anybody, I really didn't ever think I was going to be able to be right here where I am right now in a room with a roof over my head and in a safe home and going to a great school and being able to follow my dreams. All those things I didn't think I was going to be able to do. Because of this just unfathomable support that I've had from from you guys, I was able to do all those things and it's mind-boggling because at this point in my life, all these big goals that I've been trying to achieve for so long have been achieved and I almost don't know what to do with myself now. I guess just set even bigger goals, which is gonna be hard to do because I already thought this was crazy. I'm already past the point of sappiness, but this is really a sappy moment for me. It means the entire world to me. Being able to follow my dreams is something I didn't think I would ever be able to do. So because of you guys and because of all the friends I have who open their arms to me, so willingly and brought me into their homes and took care of me. All the families who loved me like I was their son and my parents and just everybody who helped me so much without me ever being able to repay them. I have to say thank you because this wasn't me. I didn't get into this school because of me. I don't have this job because of me. It's not me. It's you guys and it's all those people who, who loved me so much without question and I guess I will be moving to Los Angeles in a, a, a pretty soon. Um, there's still a lot to do before I go to the school. There's still a small chance that I won't even be able to go to the school but if everything goes as planned I will be going to UCLA which is crazy. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. I'm guessing a bunch of you guys are gonna ask what my scores are. I got a 1290 on the SAT and a 26 on the ACT. If you know anything about college, those scores are very low for a school like UCLA. My GPA was a 4.3. I took a lot of AP classes. I worked my butt off and I think that the school saw that I worked my butt off. I really did work my butt off. Everyone around me knows how much I worked my butt off. That's why I ain't got no butt. It's gone. I worked it right off. I guess this is happening. <laughs> Thank you for everything, everybody. Thank you for everything. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a few days with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye. Peace.